A verification system in your Discord server basically acts like a Kapacha system whenever you're trying to sign into a website or something. It helps verify that the person entering your server is actually a human and this will in turn help you prevent bot raids. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to set up a verification system inside your Discord server. If you guys do enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on the video to help spread it to others. And if you want to see more Discord content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. So I'm actually gonna show you guys two different ways to do this. The first one's gonna be a little bit quick and it's not a foolproof verification system as it's still gonna let people see everything in your server but it will help you prevent people from messaging in your server at least until they complete the verification system so the way to do this is you're gonna come up to your server settings up here and if you set up your if you go to the community tab and set up your community settings you will get access to a feature called membership screening basically what this does is you can set it up you'll get started you'll type in a bunch of rules we'll just do test uh, we'll make three test rules, test, 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 and we'll save it. Basically what's gonna happen is you can preview this and upon a user joining your server, they're going to be greeted with this screen that says, uh, read and agree to the server rules. Before they can access anything in the server, they're going to have to check this box and press submit. So that way is super quick, but like I mentioned, it's not completely foolproof as people are still gonna be able to see and access everything inside your server. So now I'm gonna show you guys the uh, way that I prefer setting up a verification system. Now you're gonna need a bot to do this. So what we're gonna do is grow grab the infamous bot that I always talk about on the channel, Me6. So head over to Me6.xyz and you're going to just find your server on here. Mine is going to be the YouTube tutorial. We're going to add it into the server here. So this is a perfect example. This is a Capacha verification system. This is basically what we're going to set up in our server. Now it's not gonna look exactly like this. It's gonna be done through a reaction button, uh, but that's the same concept of what we'll be doing here. So after you've added me six to your Discord, we're gonna jump back to our Discord and do one more thing. We're going to make a new text channel uh, called, I already made one called Verify here. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Just make a basic text channel, call it Verification, whatever you wanna call it. And then we're gonna come to our server settings. We're gonna get a roles and we're gonna create a new role um, you can call this member if you want to, you can call this verified, whatever you want to call it, this is going to be the role that allows them access to the rest of the server. So we're gonna make that role and we're gonna save changes and now we're gonna jump back over to me six and we're going to go to the reaction role setting on the left side right here. We're gonna enable the plugin. We're gonna set up a new reaction role. Uh, we're gonna set it to that verified channel that we just made. That's why I wanted you guys to make that and uh, we're going to just fill out the information here. We're going to do the title B, and now we're simply just filling out all the information for the embedded message. Um, the title, we're just going to use verification, or we'll say human verification, I guess. And then the message template, we're gonna say react to this message with, and I like to do the check mark emoji. You guys can use whatever emoji you want. Um, check mark emoji to gain access to the rest of the server. Now, if you guys don't know how to do an emoji like I just did on PC, if you're on Windows, all you have to do is hold down the Windows key and press the period button, and that will bring up the emoji keyboard on Windows. If you're on Mac, uh, I'm not sure how to do it on there, so you're out of luck. But if you're on PC, Windows PC, that's how you do it there. So now we've set that up, what we're going to do is come down here to the reactions in roles. We're going to add a reaction. Uh, the reaction is gonna be the same emoji we just used up there, which is the check mark. And after you do that, you're going to click this plus icon and we're going to assign the role that it's gonna give the user when they react with this emoji. In this case, it's the role that we just created. Uh, I create my name, mine member, whatever you named yours, make sure you select that one. And then you can preview the message somewhere on here, I believe. Maybe you can't, actually, I guess you can't preview it. Anyways, click save and close. After you click save and close, it's going to send the message into your server. So we're gonna jump back over to Discord and you will now see human verification, the embedded message is in this channel. But there's still a big step that you need to do. So don't just click off the video now. You're gonna to need to essentially lock down the rest of your server and make it to where when a user joins, the only thing that they can see is this channel with this verification message. Otherwise, this will mean nothing. They'll get a role, but they'll still have access to everything without the role. So this is where permissions are gonna come into play. I like to do my permissions and it's the way I recommend everyone do theirs by category. 
Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Instead of doing it in individual channel by channel, we're gonna right click on the category. We're gonna edit the category. We're gonna come into permissions and we're going to make it to where at everyone, which is every single person in your server, we're gonna make it to where they cannot view channels. You don't have to go through and disable everything for them. Once you disable the ability for everyone to view channels, they won't be able to see any channels. They won't be able to do any of these other things in that channel because they can't see it in the first place. We're gonna save those changes, but the essential step of what you need to do, if you don't do this, no one's gonna be able to see anything in your server at all. Make sure you add in the role, the, the member role or the verification role that we just created. Mine is called member. Make sure you turn it to where people can view the member role can view the channels. We're gonna click save changes. It's important to note that if you don't set up to where member can view the channels, no one's gonna be able to see the channels that you just created. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and do this for all of your categories. I only have two categories, so I'll walk you guys through it one more time. We're gonna right click the category, edit the category, go to permissions, make it to where at everyone cannot view the channels. And then we're gonna make it to where the member role, AKA the verification role can view the channels. Now make sure if these are certain channels like uh, welcome channels and stuff, you need to set your proper permissions, right? So whatever per permissions you would normally use for at everyone down here, like if you don't want members to send messages into certain channels, make sure you set that properly. I'm not gonna go completely in depth on permissions in this video. I just want to show you guys how to set this up. One last step that we need to do is we need to make it to where it, people without a role, which is the at everyone role, can view this one channel to verify themselves. So we're going to do, this is the one time we're going to not do permissions via category. We're going to do it by this individual channel so we can edit the channel. We're gonna to go to permissions. We're gonna make it to where at everyone can view this channel. So now you're completely set up. If you have any channels that aren't in categories, make sure you, you're you gonna to have to either drag those into a category or you're going to have to edit those channels permissions individually. But if you come down here and you click the green check mark, you'll notice up here at first, I don't have the member role. I'm gonna click this green check mark and now I'm going to automatically have the member role. If you want a little bit of peace of mind to make sure you didn't screw anything up, because I know this can be a little bit confusing to some people, um, come into your server settings, go to roles. You can actually make, you're gonna create a new role and you can just name it test. Don't give it any permissions, just make a role called test. And then right down here, you can click view server as role. If you click this, you should have it set up to where the only channel that people can see is the verification channel. And as you can see, uh, obviously the rules is up here. Don't worry about that. This is just a test server, but the verification channel is the only channel that people can see when they join the server. And if you wanna make sure you got it set up right for your member role or your verification role, you're gonna do the same thing. Click on that role, click view server as role, and people with the member role can view everything in the server. That's pretty much it. I hope I didn't go too fast. I feel like I may have went a little too fast there, uh, but it's it's really not too hard. It's pretty self-explanatory. The most confusing part is the permissions at the end. But like I said, go into the server settings, create a test role and view the server as that role so you can make sure you can double check yourself. I hope this video helped you guys out. I know a lot of people want to know how to do something like this. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you did enjoy, remember, please drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date with all of my Discord content. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.